the bongo's not acting like he wants to get out, so we'll just continue riding up to Sheridan. Hmm? Yeah? You good with that? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I miss living in Denver because there was just so much outdoor activities to do once you got into the mountains. And back then when I was a kid, it was a lot of fun stuff to do, you know, clubs and what have you to party in the city. But I don't do that anymore. thinking the other day it's when you live in the mountains or live near the mountains it's I don't I don't know if they become part of you but it's something that keeps an attraction towards them hello They break up the scenery more than, you know, cornfields and trees, but I'm not saying it's bad here, but definitely miss it there. how beautiful the day is. I think I have. Yeah, there's considerably more people out here on a nice day. So. I mean, not an overwhelming amount, obviously. But a lot more. If you can see it right here but there's these old like very old light or power lines you want out bud okay but those insulators up there there's still one up there but it seemed like everybody and their brother would collect those you want out okay let's show them our special technique to get you out of there huh 
Okay, we just pull his bed <laughs> out so he can get out. There we go. Special technique. Right, buddy? Huh? Okay, I'll pause a bit and let him do his thing. <laughs> Somebody likes to share. Of course, you guys are probably staring at a headlight. I know I am. There you go, bud. Good stuff. You ready to go? Hmm? You ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's get up and go. No? Okay. Let me pull the bicycle around in. Backing it up like a truck driver, buddy. Huh? Yeah. That's an old skill to remember. And get up. Come on. Get up. Come on, big dog. I know. I know. Oh, goodness. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just giving him a break. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, come on. Giddy up. There we go. Good boy. Okay, you ready? Back on the road. Yep, okay. Longo's had his break. On the way. Nice for that guy to ask if we were okay. Kind of weird how we've become so insulated from other people. We're scared to help them. We can have fear of something happening to us. I guess it's because of the news and everything. We've had more access to it than ever. And we see that it seems like more things happen. Of course they probably do because we've got more people. But, and I'm guilty of it too. Is seeing somebody that needs help on the side of the road or something and not pulling over to help. So, but I guess I need to do better at that too. You okay? couple of e-bikes. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Looks like they were on some kind of bikes that had ROK in the front, front of the name. I don't know if it was Rock Wheel or something like that. I'll have to look it up when I get home. Or remember when I'm trying to edit this video. 
Oh. So up here we're in Sheridan, so this is the city park that I was talking about. If I didn't edit that part out. But I think they've got a ball, ball diamond playgrounds and typical park amenities. So for a city park or a small city park. I'm on your left. A little chipmunk. Hey, buddy. Ground squirrel. Not exactly sure if there's a difference. I think they're called 13 striped ground squirrels. Oh, goodness. Sorry, buddy. bunch of tree roots through the trail right here or under the trail Ugh. stop a second since we just stopped I don't think he needs to get out for the park I want to say thank you I appreciate you watching me and Bongo's ride if you would please like and subscribe I think Bongo's been enjoying his ride, so we will keep doing more. If you're interested in either versions of the Juliet or the Romeo e-bikes by Eohora, please um, purchase them from the links listed in the description. Purchases through those links will help me to save up money for a new editing computer, which is sorely needed. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.